What's up, everyone? Moonlaps Nightwind here with your monthly album collection update. Um, May was a pretty good month. Some good new releases. Found some good used stuff. Uh, went took a vacation, uh, which was really nice. Didn't get anything there. They didn't have any local record stores where I went. Uh, but yeah, May was a pretty good month. Uh, let's uh, get into what we got here. So first up, we have 69 Eyes with Motor City Resurrection. Uh, it's a, technically a compilation, but mar but it was sold as a studio album. Uh, but still something that I do not have for their, for them yet. Next is Bewitcher. Uh, I actually saw these guys uh, a couple weeks ago with Uwada and Upon Stone. Uh, and we'll get to their stuff uh, here in a little bit. Uh, but they were kind. every band was kind enough to sign some stuff for me. So for Bewitcher, we have Under the Witching Cross. Cursed Be Thy Kingdom. And Deep Cuts and Shallow Graves. And again, those were all signed by the band. Uh, and I can't thank I can't thank all the bands enough for being willing to, to sign their stuff for me. Next up, we have the new Dark Throne album, It Beckons Us All. And we have Flesh God Apocalypse with King. And we have the new Folter Kammer album, Vibomacht. Next, we have Japanese band The Gazette with Division. And beautiful, uh, what's this? Uh, beautiful Deformity. Next up is Goat Whore with The Eclipse of Ages into Black. Then we have High Lung with, uh, what was this one called again? Uh, I, can't, I can't read Russian, so. Uh, hold, please. Uh, Futha. Futha is what this one is called. Uh, you'd think I'd be able to at least memorize what CDs are what, but when you get as many as I do, it they all tend to bleed together a little bit. Next, we have Helheim with Chaos Cult. Then we have Hyperion with Seraphical Euphony. Then we have Imperial Triumphant with Vile Luxury. This is the 2024 reissue. Incantation with Diabolical Conquest. Uh, this one is The Meads of Asphodel with uh, Sonder Commando. Next we have Nagelfar with Vil uh, Vilra, I think is how it's pronounced. Or Vitra, those are T's. As well as Harvest. Then we have Norther with Mirror of Madness. Next up is The Obsessed with The Church Within. And Incarnate. Next up, we have the brand new album from, I believe it's pronounced O, uh, spelled O-U, with Two Frailty, uh, featuring Devin Townsend on the production and on the tr uh, the track uh, Purge. Then we have Paul Bearer's new album uh, from this year, Mind Burns Alive, which right now is currently my front runner for album of the year. Next, we have Pelican with Nightmare Stories. Or Nighttime Stories, excuse me. Next we have Rhapsody of Fire's brand new album, Challenge the Wind. Uh, I, this is the, I've missed the last few. This is the first one I've heard with their new vocalist, and it's not bad. I was scared I wasn't going to like it because I really like Fabio Leone as a vocalist. Uh, and when he left, I was kind of devastated. Uh, but it's still pretty good. Still, still Rhapsody of Fire. Next is Ritual Dictates with No Great Loss. Then we have Riverside with Shrine of New Generation Slaves. We have Rotting Christ with their brand new album Pro Cristo, I think is uh, how it's pronounced. I had to put it through Google Translate to find out because I can't I can't read Greek, let alone speak it. Next we have Shining with Ten Varg Utan Flock. Next to Solution 45 with Four Aeons Past. Then we have Symphony X with Underworld. Next is Threshold with Dead Reckoning. Then we have Uwada, and they were kind enough to sign all of their stuff, too. I bought all four of their albums at the, uh, at the show. So first up is Devoid of Light. Then we have Cult of a Dying Sun. Jin. And Crepuscule Natura. And then Upon Stone, they uh, they had a couple CDs that I bought as well. First up is the Where Wild Sorrows Grow EP. 
and then their brand new 2024 album, Dead Mother Moon. Some great melodic death metal. I highly recommend checking it out. Next, we have Veil of Nath with a Cursed EP. Whitechapel with their self titled. Uh, what was this? Uh, Worm Witch with. Uh, what was this? Uh, Wolf Hex. If I can learn to read. And then I skipped this one uh, accidentally, but finishing up, we have Duran Gray with their new single, The Devil in Me. Uh, again, the deluxe box set, as I tend to order from them. Uh, this has the track, The Devil in Me. Uh, which is all right. It's um, no, it's not high on my uh, favorites list, but it's not bad. Uh, and then the remakes of Cage and Yokon. At this point, they should just remake the whole Gauze album because they've re-recorded half of that album already. Uh, and I still think I prefer the originals, but the remakes are good in their own right. And it also has the uh, bonus Blu-ray with the My Bloody uh, My Bloody Vampire uh, set that they did. And that is it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next month. Take care.